Hello everyone, this is Joseph Notch here and today I am bringing you another community video where I ask you guys about your opinion. I tell you my opinion and then I ask you for your comments in the comment section below. This video is the first part of my short CFD summer series where I post these short videos now here in August 2018 every week. I hope that you like this idea. Uh, please comment in the comment section below or give it a like if you really like it. So today we are talking about ge geometry for CFD simulations. I already posted a video, a tutorial on how to create geometries in Blender, but today I would like to talk to you about the possibilities, the software possibilities that you can utilize for geometry creation in OpenFoam. As you know, for OpenFoam, for the mesh creations, you need STL files. Usually you use STL files as an input for meshing, both for snappy hex mesh and CF mesh, and of course you have to create those STL files somehow and export them from a software in ASCII or binary and for that you have multiple possibilities. You can use commercial products like CATIA, AutoCAD or whatever you prefer or your company or the university uses. And there are also open source alternatives like I showed you in the one video, Blender or there is also Salome or FreeCAD and also other possibilities which you can utilize to, to create the geometry and export the geometry surfaces as STL files. So the question is which one should you use? Maybe you are asking yourself the question, especially if you're a newcomer. And the, really the, uh, the question is, uh, it, can your software um, include STL regions? So if you open up an STL file, then at the beginning you should see something like solid and an inlet and then the tr uh, information about the triangles and then in the end you should see end solid inlet. And then if you have included into one STL for multiple regions, then it should go, uh, go with, uh, follow up with solid outlet and then the triangles and solid outlet, solid walls and end solid walls and so on. And even if you uh, export your STL uh, files separately, so your inlet separately, your outlet separately, then still it shouldn't say solid and then some cryptic name, but really the inlet, the outlet. Can your software do it? or not. Because then if you cannot uh, uh, name your boundaries properly, then you have to do it afterwards uh, during pre-processing, which can be tedious if you forget it. And then you um, um, realize that during case setup or already when you want to start the simulation and this can be a pain in the butt. And additionally, the question is, can your software your uh, handle STL refinement? So how small or how big the, the triangles are, which are import, uh, exported? Can you set that in the software, how big they can be? And also the quality of the STLs, the, how sk the skewness, and then also how the triangulation is created in the software. Are there overlapping edges where Snappy Hex Mesh might think that it is not watertight and then just mesh through it? So this is always the question. And as I showed you in my previous um, uh, tutorial, I usually prefer Blender because Blender can handle all these uh, points. You, you can set the name of the inlet of the outlet uh, already in Blender. You can control the refinement of the STL because you can mesh the f uh, manually, even manually the surfaces, but you don't have to. And with this manual possibility, you can also control the skewness and also overlapping edges. But you might have a different opinion. Which uh, geometry software do you use or even prefer? Is it an open source uh, tool or a commercial tool? 
why do you prefer this do you have favorites or not so please comment below in the comment section and maybe you can help other users find their geometry tool of preference for uh, the, the creation of the STL files for meshing with snappy hex mesh or CF mesh with that I hope that you found this short uh, video useful and that you learned something or you have an opinion about that with that I would like to thank you for watching and listening and I hope to see you next time